scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty you're the king of kings and lord of lords you are the king of kings you're the king of kings and lord of lords your glorious majesty we are born in a tower Let me tell you something. Pastor, you will be amazed at the testimonies that these dear people return. You know, while this is happening, their loved ones are minding themselves. All of a sudden, doors of jobs are opening and they may not know what happened. What happened? Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. Doors don't just open. Doors don't just close. I never cease to marvel at the power of God and what it is able to do in the lives of people. The overflow outside please lift your hands just the overflow outside not the ones up the overflow outside lift your hands I will pray for you first and then I'll pray for those inside you know we spoke about speed yesterday or today this morning please look at me speed is a real grace if you spend your life it is a blessing for god to satisfy a man early S delay is not about delay it's about the ability of the devil to manipulate time time those at, i'm already used to our meetings i'm used to calling overflows names i was over, almost shouting a name right now We'll call it the overflow outside those outside at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus now please be one another's keeper because as soon as you shout that name jesus the grace for speed will come on you and some of you will begin to run 
so just help them and bring them out so they don't injure themselves i don't know why god is saying we should start with them but these are the next sets of people and some of you here you you know you are not you are not lagging behind but you are not moving forward either so it's a deception it looks like you are not having any delay but you are not making progress this is this is this is a, an influence that africa needs to be free from that a young man of 40 is still in his mother's house and she's still feeding him he's praying in tongues he may even be a pastor it's not correct don't sit down and just laugh about it he says satisfy me early are you ready those outside my god one two three my god please help them please help them so they don't enjoy themselves if you can get some of them bring them in front here i want to pray for those inside now there is a grace for speed that must come upon our life now those inside and those at the overflow above i want to release that grace listen you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but for the sake of god and for the sake of your precious family please receive there is a real grace for speed there is a real grace bring those coming from outside there is a grace for speed hmm. that can come upon a man my brothers and my sisters that can come upon a man of god that can come upon a business that can come upon a destiny and shift you to a dimension that you will stand and you will marvel and say so god you can do this have you ever heard that a nation was born in a day but he said as soon as zion traveled i want to pray for those inside now please listen whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do their best the power of god will come on some of you and you will begin to run physically please hold them so they don't injure themselves and bring them here i stand right now in the name of jesus and i decree and declare in the name of him that sits upon the throne i stretch my hands receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed i release you speed house on the road speed i shift you by the spirit please help these people speed 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 to your destiny speed to your life speed in ministry speed in your christian work speed no more delay i cause the spirit of delay bring them out over your family any family here that is in bondage of delay i release speed 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 as you stand representing them we terminate delay of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jesus he used his bare foot i say it again anyone here that came for this miracle service you have been tied down academically tied down in ministry i speak to you again receive speed receive speed receive speed
for then you will know that you met the Lord tonight that's why your pastor took out time to teach you on the power of the word the word is not religion no no there is a grace for performance Paul said we are not teaching you cunningly devised fables there are graces that if you do not have you don't have it it's as simple as that speed it's one of the graces that we so need speed Listen. I decree and declare upon these ones for you and for your family you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life you see listen let me tell you something please listen every time you see your pastor organize a meeting please understand that is not a ritual no two meetings are the same religion is dangerous you may lie to yourself that i won't come for this one i will prepare for the next one and miss your hour of visitation imagine these precious people now that if they were not here he said let his bishop break another take father i speak upon these ones they came for a miracle service and i declare this grace for speed that has come upon you let it follow your families let it terminate everything that represents the name let it terminate everything that represents the name i speak as one sent by god let there be a permanent termination I never marvel I will never stop to marvel at what the power of God is able to do in the lives of people the Lord is showing me people here who never finish anything they start this is what I'm seeing there is almost nothing you start that you finish there are even families like that the buildings of 1994 is still there not completed there are projects that are started spiritually and otherwise you say i'm reading a book and never finish god is alpha and omega not alpha alone why will he start a thing that he cannot finish i'm praying right now that if there be anybody here here at house on the rock mina i decree and declare that the spirit that is responsible for aborting progress in your life i curse it right now i curse it right now i curse it right now in the name of jesus christ he said that the hand of zerubbabel that began this work that that same hand will complete it tap this lady for me may go and write it is a month of strange breakthrough for your family i don't know you but i'm speaking to you by the spirit the month of may by the spirit of the living god will terminate everything hallelujah um a large amount of your money was i don't know if this was duped or something who is that come ah marvelous jesus 
both of you please make sure you understand what i'm saying i'm, I'm not just saying that money please please let's this is a church of excellence so make sure that i will pray for everybody i may not do one-on-one -on -one talk because i really want us to hurry up i want to pray for the sick but god wants to the lord is showing me a woman here i don't know if you're a member of this church but you are here one two three four years no child no child married four years no child who is that person married no child whether you are outside or up the balcony please when you find that person just let the ushers locate you and then and then we'll pray for you i want to pray for you sirs. i don't know why god is speaking like this but can i tell you the truth that god is able to restore not just years but he's able to restore resources Oh, there are people following online please make sure that those online are connecting there is no distance and there is no um, limitation that comes with time I just want you to believe I want to pray for people right now I'm seeing that it doesn't matter how but I'm seeing very significant sums that you parted away with that has affected your life but there is a God in heaven he is a restorer What does one of you have to do with police? Police, what is that? We were actually duped and we reported the case to police. You were duped yes, sir. and you reported to police. Are you together? You are a team. Yes, we are going to pray. The police are great people but there is only so much they can do. But we are going to pray and God will restore you there's someone just one person that I'm seeing it is not for you but it's for your dad your dad was duped almost close to 10 million naira who is that your dad come and stand here Hi. there is a God in heaven oh. mm, there is a God in heaven when you know God, there are certain fears we will not have again. God can veto systems and reach back to you. And this is what I want to pray. See, please listen and learn this. Every time there is a loss in your life, it is the prophetic that is assigned for restoration. Read the Bible. Every time people lost things, they didn't waste their time. They went straight. Whether it was a donkey that was missing or it was an axe head that fell, whatever it is, the moment they encountered the prophetic, that is the creative dimension that is able to draw these things back. I want to pray a simple prayer and please I want you to believe. There is a God in heaven and you will be surprised to see what happens. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these people. You brought them out by your spirit. in the name that is above all names we decree and declare by strange favor i'm depositing a grace upon your life right now as i'm speaking to you may this grace draw strange resources i stand and i speak by prophecy strange resources i declare upon you right now in the name of jesus resources that will bring you restoration resources that will bring you restoration in the name of jesus christ i connect you by the spirit to the gatekeepers of industries and i declare that you will find favor with them in the name of jesus christ pastor these three people you see i'm saying it in the open they are entering a season of extreme financial prosperity one two three these three gentlemen i'm saying it in the open and before everyone the lord is bringing 
great restoration you are into printing that's what you do printing printing like you can print anything um are you sure are you sure you are into printing seriously or you are just where where hospital road hospital road hospital road i want to pray for you because i'm seeing god wants to prosper you seriously please shift sir mama i want to pray for you i don't know i don't know this our mother but the lord is asking me to pray for you i'm seeing in the spirit and the lord is telling me that this our mother is a very good woman but i want to pray for you because i'm seeing something that looks like an attack you wake up one morning and your right leg starts paining you and then you start limping gradually gradually and it affects you and you cannot go to work effectively and they will tell you you have rheumatoid arthritis then they will tell you night round you are already feeling pain sometimes at your back i don't know what i'm saying that once in a while especially when you bend there can be pains is that true ma around your back i will pray for you the bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity this our mother is a blessed woman and we are praying and agreeing she cannot come for a meeting like this and just return back that i came for a meeting is there no god in heaven mama we pray for you in the name of jesus christ and by the power of the holy spirit your health is preserved your health is preserved your health is preserved your health is please hold up your health is preserved by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare that no operation of darkness help her please the anointing is upon her in the name of jesus i decree and i declare it is over right now never to return to you i see the power of god on this woman this one lift your hands man an angel of the lord is pouring something that looks like oil on her and i'm seeing the lord is saying he's restoring and healing restoring and healing restoring and healing what do you have to do with your back restoring and healing restoring your bones your bones around your lumbar vertebra restoring and healing you by the power of the holy spirit Alabara. You are the mighty God, and in you. You are the glory. I love my life. I love my life. You are the mighty God, and in you. You are the glory. I love my life. You are the mighty God, and in the glory, you are the glory. Jessica, 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 I'm hearing a name, Jessica. This, why are they here? These people. Four years, Madam. Four years. Seven years. How? How many years? Seven years. Seven years. Ten years. Ten years. If you find the one of four years come but then we have to terminate this a combined 17 years no child even if it takes one year to represent one month they still would have given birth by now this is not about barrenness this is about dominion over your time Now, you see, you only have compassion when you put yourself in people's shoes. My dear sisters here, put yourself in the shoes of these, our wonderful people. That you are married for 10 years, madam. Who is 10? 10 years and 7 years. I'm seeing
seen light from her coming to you how many years seven yes because i'm seeing that it's the same thing that she has there is one more person i'm seeing four people in my vision four 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 I will not stop you from going but I'm, make sure you're married are you married hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on Victor excuse me let me talk to her Kai, if you doubt that there is wickedness on earth hold on Kai, I, I wanted to minister but I'm just seeing something my Jesus this is your auntie give her the mic please put the mic on her just your auntie yes sir 20 21 22 23 24 25 how many years 25 years, 25 years. is it true yes. she's barring 25 years yes, sir. that's why i said look at this kind of thing when she got married some of you here were not born and now some of you are married and have children and left her this one is not delay this is an attack sir you are standing for yourself where's your wife she's, she's not here with okay she's not here how about you i'm standing for my auntie sir for your auntie how many years nine years sir. nine years how okay your your ushers father we thank you thank you for this conference if this were all this conference was about pastor it is worth it what then is ministry except for an opportunity to allow the power of god transform people was it not this man it was you right it was you with the testimony of the child am i am i am i correct it was in a meeting like this come so that you encourage these people please come you remember his face sir you remember his face some of you look at this man you may remember him that he stood like this one of the meetings just like these people is that true sir a herbalist vowed that should not give it a herbalist vowed that should not give it you you know the herbalist or you just had the, the, my, my wife told me okay that vow that you will not give birth that she will not give birth that she will not give birth yes. and you came here yes, sir. Huh. truly speaking let me tell you there is a god in heaven i brought him here to just encourage you please i want you to believe god don't allow long-standing issues to make you believe that god is not mighty look at this our dear sister crying only god let me tell you this every man of god here i'm sure you've had the privilege to counsel couple with this kind of issue and you know how difficult it can be there are tribes that will not even wait more than two years they will just say mr man go and look for another wife you married a man not a woman So let's pray and watch what God will do. The power of God is coming on one of you. You will be the first to receive now, just before I pray. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm just speaking to you. That the moment that happens, I will speak to the rest. Just you people in front here. I'm seeing the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That's it. Now I'm ready to pray. I decree and declare by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit. Is it not the one who makes the barren to sing and her that is without child to become a joyful mother of children? It doesn't matter how many years for you and those you are standing for. I decree and declare your womb is open to take seed. Whatever the medical condition is, we change it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
the issue is not to find out what is wrong with who the most important thing is that there be an invasion of the power of god i'm seeing oil upon this woman this seven year madam that's it it's over right now this woman like that just like a dream something is being loose from your stomach this is what i'm seeing when our backs were against the wall and they looked to see if it was over you are three months overdue for your rent the landlord is harassing you right now right now as i'm speaking who is that you're a man of god you are the one don't be embarrassed come I salute your courage to come. Oh, he said, no, this is not your house rent. The one I'm talking about is his house rent. But this, hold on. You are using, are you using your a place like for both house and church? Is it or, or so I'm renting both the church and the house too. The okay, you are renting both church and house and both of them are overdue. Yes, sir. You see, this is a servant of God. There's nothing to be embarrassing about. These are the kinds of things that will make you go to the place of prayer and waste time but never pray. We are human beings. That you, you stay near a window for a long time. People will think you are praying but you are thinking. And yet you have sermons to prepare. Listen, I, I speak to you here in the name of Jesus. The grace that must give you the focus to serve God in truth. May that grace come upon your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sir, I want to pray for you. Come. I will not just pray for you. In my own quarter, whatever I can assist you with. To help you you see that because this this is a servant of god to just to just pray blindly and let him go the bible says withhold not good from him that it is due when it is within your power this is why you must ask the lord to bless you are we together now yes if you you, you feel that there is there is a grace there is something you can do you can see pastor petrock after the service and say sir whatever i can do to support this man of god this is how the church is supposed to be but you can never help when you are in need yourself that's why you must pray that god will help you this is the purpose of prosperity not just for cars and houses an opportunity to be an extension of the love of god but sir we need to pray hold my hands we'll pray for favor but it must start with you you see you're a man of god and truly speaking this favor is not just for your sake but for the sake of your members because every member will reflect the grace and also the limitation on the man of god that's why it's important for men of god to open up their hearts to access grace because if you are limited even if you are not interested for the sake of the precious members let the gates of wealth let the gates of increase be open for you in the name of jesus I call forth helpers. I call forth errands and horse to lift your hands in ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I can't remember why they are here. In the name of Jesus, even as I have declared, by the Spirit of God, return with your testimonies. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Celebrate them, please, as they go back. You are what's your name Jonathan you are the one with the printing business come when God blesses you make sure that the house of God benefits you know sometimes some of these people once once God honors you I'm not saying you come again this is your work 
you are born again. You love Jesus. Okay, hold it. Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint him by your spirit. Let the printing business have life. And in the name of Jesus, may you go far with it. And I pray for you. May the Lord honor you. You will be very blessed. Very, very blessed. This man. Very, very blessed. God will connect you. Let's pray for the sick. Let's pray for the sick. There are people here with terminal diseases. There are people here with situations that need change. Are you ready to receive now? Please lay your hands, everyone. If there is a part of your body that you're trusting God for a miracle, just lay your hands. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. I already see so many miracles. So many miracles. This is what will happen. Please listen to me. I'm going to pray for you right now and I'll take authority over infirmity. The gentleman that will shout under the anointing now, um, please bring him out. There is a reason why I asked to bring him out. I don't know where, but I just saw in my vision a gentleman. It was like an avalanche of power just came upon that gentleman like a wildfire, whether it is inside or outside. Right now as I'm speaking it, when that, when that happens, please bring the gentleman. He's outside. I've seen it. The person is outside. Even if there are many people, this is a male that I'm seeing. Please, let's hurry up so that we'll save time. So let me continue saying what I'm saying. I will pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit, standing in faith with Pastor Peter and all the men of God here. As I begin to rebuke this infirmity over your life, what will happen is that the power of God will come and will touch you. Please listen carefully. And the moment you are healed, we are going to give an opportunity. Release his destiny now. In the name of Jesus. And release his family right now. release his destiny now and release his family now let it be done now and let it be done forever We'll sing it one more time and I pray for the sick. Make you my, 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 make you my. Now, wherever you are, whether you are outside, above us here at the balcony, you are by the pavement, or following online, make contact right now. The power of God is about to touch you. Sense a strong anointing. Just give me volume. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I tell you, there is there is such a healing stream that is just flowing right now. A healing stream. 
I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ do I have believers in the name of Jesus Christ I take authority over the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out right now I decree and declare from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus the healing power of Jesus is flowing through your body right now be healed in the name of Jesus breast lump be healed in the name of Jesus lump in the breast is disappearing right now be healed in the name of Jesus a pain around the neck is being healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you know pastor Pete shared about someone he was just giving an example I'm, I'm not sure he understood that he was speaking prophetically your left ear your left ear I'm seeing that you cannot hear very well in the name of Jesus I declare let it be open right now let it be open right now in the name of Jesus you cannot stand well on your left foot when you stand there's there's an excruciating pain that comes especially around around your your hip area here but the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ all blood conditions be healed right now HIV be healed every kind of malignant growth in your body within your system fibroid or whatever kind of lump I command be healed now the power of God is touching people now as I'm speaking be healed right now be healed right now the Lord is healing my grain there are a number of people with severe pounding migraine be healed in the name of Jesus hotness hotness around your body extreme heat as though they just plugged you to electricity the power of God is touching you right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ there is a gentleman here God is healing now you are a man but it's as though you have menstrual cycle I don't know if you understand what I'm saying you are a man but you can urinate blood sometimes and it comes frequently right now as I'm praying I just saw this the power of God is coming upon you right now and is terminating that there's nothing to be embarrassed about be healed in the name of Jesus Christ The Lord is showing me there are a number of people here but particularly a woman when it is the time for your monthly cycle the pain is excruciating and unbearable you can you can continue to throw up and it's as if you will die I'm seeing you on your knees holding your stomach and just crying this is not just in quote what we call regular menstrual pain this 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 is a serious thing to the point that when it's close to your period you are you are you are already affected emotionally this has happened for many years right now you are going to feel like fire just around your stomach and then at once it will leave never to return be healed right now be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now the Lord is healing pile pile I'm seeing a very excruciating issue of pile a number of people the Lord is healing you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit now I don't know what they call it but there's someone here you know what they call hallucination that means you can stand 
and see things you, you are not it's not like you are caught up in the realm of the spirit you are not caught up you are here but you can see things and sometimes you hear voices like physical voices you hear voices the lord is setting you free from that oppression right now i'm seeing someone here you can't sleep maximum two hours you are done and the sleep will never come you keep rolling left and right till morning i'm praying right now the lord is setting you free by the power of the holy spirit severe chest pain severe chest pain sometimes you cannot even breathe well the lord is setting you free by the power of the holy spirit now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus be healed 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 the lord is showing me something funny you went to bed and you had a dream and someone came to molest you in the dream you got up physically feeling as though you were molested and from that day your health has gone down you you can have different sicknesses whether malaria typhoid and then whatever else any just 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 a buffet of sicknesses here and there i declare in the name of jesus be healed right now be healed right now someone is being healed around the collarbone the power of god is touching you around the collarbone you are being healed right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ very very humorous condition there's somebody here you want to add weight this I, I now please just allow me just talk the way god is you want to add weight even if you eat one drum of fats nothing seems to happen and it's, it's not just maybe slim feet your own is a disturbing situation here and there people have had to call and say what is what is going on i'm praying for you it's not by power nor by might you see god can be humorous sometimes just walk with him i declare let a miracle happen to you right now hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.